Hello and welcome to today's edition of Great Recruiters Spotlight. I am joined here with Mara Iaquinta, a top rated recruiter for Q4 2023. Mara, how are you doing today? Well, Adam, thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah, it's my pleasure. And and before we jump in, I just want to brag about you a little bit, if you don't mind. Um, Mara has over 40 reviews, 4.7 stars, uh, 80% highly recommend working with Mora. And what I love is uh, what people have to say about you. And uh, I love working with Mara. She's professional and friendly, easy to talk to, never pushy. I've been working with her as my primary recruiter for three years in a row. She is the best. Mm -hmm. To me, that's the goal, right? Uh, getting those repeat to come back, it, it's a testament obviously, to the quality experience that you you provide your travelers. So uh, kudos to you. Thank uh, you. And as we jump in, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background? Yeah. Uh, so coincidentally, this will be my 19th year this month uh, working for, right. for CORE. I've been working for CORE Medical Group for 19 years. Um, wow. So I've raised my kids with this company. Um, you know, um, I'm very proud to, to work for core. Um, and, and, and the backstory is, is something as simple as when we went to buy our, our first home, my, my, my ex-husband and I, um, we moved in next to the former owners of the company when they were very small and just getting started up and and they recruited me out from another sales job when i was pregnant with my first daughter with my first child so yeah oh my gosh that's amazing and and what a testament to have, be with an organization that's retaining their their recruiters for 19 years i mean that is um i hear it uh i i was with my company that i was with for for about 17 but yeah. It, it says a lot about the company and the culture and the leadership and the and just the the support that you're provided because this is a this is a tough industry, right? To be in it 19 years is one thing. A lot of people are in it for one, two, and they and they jet, but to be in it for that long with the same organization is just uh, outstanding. Well, and one of the things I, I often say to people when I'm talking to them is, you know, there's a lot of turnover in this industry. Right. And in, in the healthcare vertical specifically, you know, there's a lot of a lot of turnover. And so you really need to be able to kind of understand and, and weed out who you're talking to. Um, you Without know, a doubt. so. So um, help, help me understand a little bit. Uh, what, what is your background expertise? What, what types of folks do you help uh, find? So I, yeah, for? I'm mainly focus on physical therapists, occupational therapists, and speech and language pathologists. Okay. Um, so that's, that's, and, and that's what I've been mainly working with my, my entire time at CORE. I originally started off doing uh, some permanent placement and um, I was, you know, forced to make a choice and and it was suggested that, you know, I, I go more of the contract route. So what that means is we put physical therapists and occupational therapists and speech in, in contract assignments for 13 weeks. Mm -hmm. So we help support them and, and house them and 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 get them and, and line them up. That's great. And, and being somebody who's been in the industry for a really long time, I know great recruiters is is new to you. It's new to core, and I'm just curious uh, how how have you seen great recruiters benefit you as as such an experienced recruiter already? Great question. Um, as a seasoned person, I tend to uh, resist change a bit, you know, um, set in my ways. But what I've found is that anytime um, something newer is is revealed to us or whatever, it's so smart for me to jump on. And something such as this has been so beneficial for me to be able to certainly receive the positive feedback. Um, you know, but there, there are those reviews that come in, you know, um, that 
I'm a four, as you mentioned, 4.7, right? So there are some people that might have had some some challenges. And so what that's helped me to do is to be able to see, okay, you know what? Maybe I could have done done a little better here. You know, yeah. um, we have a a, a new um, COO within our organization, and and she said something recently which really stuck with me that you know um, no review is 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 worse than a good review or a bad review, right? right. You know, I can't grow from a bad review or no review. I can't do anything. No. Right. So, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. And, and I'm human. I mean, that's that's the truth. So. So many of the things that I say all the time, you're, you're spot on. You, you the, the great reviews, the five they're, they're awesome. They make you feel great. But um, being told all the things that you're doing well doesn't help you help you grow. And, and sometimes you get that feedback that you go, OK, maybe there's something there. Let's unpack that a little bit. And I love what you said. It's It's embracing it. It's embracing mm -hmm. it and it's giving your your traveler a voice as well to follow up and say, hey, that's 100%. not the experience that I wanted to create. What could I have done better? And you see, understand. And that's what I've done. It's allowed me to call people that I didn't know. Right. One specifically stands out. I had no idea. And it was something, you know, where she felt as though she was used to her last recruiter, you know, getting back to her within like four to six hours. I'm like, well, right. I, I'm going to need like 24 here. You know, you got to you got to help me here a little bit. But it was something that that mattered to her. So we were able to to talk about what what's reasonable, you know, yeah. and 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 since then, our relationship has really thrived, actually. I hear that so often. Somebody has a negative experience. They share it because you're open to it, but it's the way you respond and and follow up. They just want a voice. And, and the right. result of that, more times than not, I hear, I'm like, well, what's the result of following up? And people say, we have a better relationship, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Um, hey, help me, tell me, what, what does being named top rated mean to you? Hmm. Well, I'm slightly competitive, so um, I certainly um, appreciate being using being able to use that title, you know, but it also gives uh, a level of professionalism. Um, it also kind of, you know, this whole process process validates, you know, the work I've done um, yeah. throughout the years, you know, and, and I, I just I feel like it allows me to kind of put like a little bow on it, you know, just kind yeah. of put the package together. What do you think it means to the candidates that you work with? Well, I think now a lot, a lot more than it did when I started in this industry, you know, and, and again, that's, you know, why it's important to kind of adapt to change and roll with these things because, you know, we have to stay current. And, and it is important now, um, you know, there's so many different types of platforms out there um, and, and not specifically competing with with this type of platform, but different ways that people can be rated and seen. And so this is very important and, and I'm taking it very seriously. Well, that's great. And I, I think, you know, talk to a lot of seasoned recruiters as well. And I think what you said is spot on. The industry is evolving. The expectations are changing. The the dynamic of everything is different than when it was when we started. I mean, I started, you know, 25 years ago. The landscape has changed. But I, I think I love what you said. It, it's embracing it, right? Yeah. It's embracing it. And it's it's it. And I love that you gave it a chance because it's, it's obviously <laughs> it's really paying off. Thank, um, you. Thank you. Travelers have a ton of choices, right? Yes. There's a lot of recruiters out there. So share with me, what, what should a candidate expect when they're working with you? Yes. Uh, very straightforward. Um, you know, I am not, it's, it's, it's a partnership. So I'm not in this to waste your time. You know, I'll be very direct with, with what's available or how I can help you. If I can't help you, then I'll try to direct you as to, as to whom can, um, you know, I think, I think it's important to, to be responsive, 
you know, to set the expectation as to what you can expect. I'm a mom of two. What can you expect from me in the evenings, in the early mornings? You know, just let's set that because these people are traveling across the country, right? We are their point of contact. And so they want to, they want to feel like they are being heard, as you said, and, and being taken care of. That's awesome. Well, Mara, I really appreciate you sharing. Uh, congratulations for again having on being me. recognized as top rated 19 years in the industry. If you are a traveler, if you're in the occupational therapy, physical therapy, and you're looking for someone who's going to be there, maybe not within six hours, but definitely within 24. Right. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Then, then you need to reach out to Mara. So, hey, Mara, I really Thank appreciate you. it. I wish you all the best here in 2024. Thank you. And uh, again, congratulations. Take care, Adam. Thank you. you. As well, cheers.